Hi everyone, welcome to Gomes Tech Talks channel. I'm Dr. Gomati. In this video, we are going to discuss about entitlements and permission sets in Business Center. Okay, so first of all, let us understand before proceeding with the topic, let us understand like what is access. Okay, so access is like uh, what we can use like and what we don't have uh, the rights to use. Okay, for example, we all know that we have a base objects in business center. So what are the base objects in business central? We have customer data, customer, we have uh, uh, items. Okay, so these are the base objects, which is already it has its own definition. Okay, like if you see currency is a base object, which is defined by Microsoft itself. So if you cannot delete it, you cannot modify this, but you can extend it. Okay, so this is what the access given to us for the base object that as a user we don't have access to delete or uh, do any modifications in this okay so this is what the access so what are the basic access level which we have okay so in order to understand this we should understand two main concept that is in business central we have two concepts for defining access for defining the access to the functionality so access to the functionality uh, which has um, two things one is entitlement okay and the second one is permissions so what do you mean by entitlement so entitlements described which objects in business central a customer is entitled to which means that this has whenever you purchase a license okay it has its own license whenever you purchase a license based on the license you have an access okay so that is what the entitlement okay that is the license that we purchase from microsoft or according to the assure active directory role that we have assigned in microsoft 365 admin center such as global administrator like that so entitlements are only used in the online version of business central whereas permission is described like it means like which objects an administrator or a partner has given to the user so for example um if we are an administrator or okay so if i am an administrator or if i am a super user i can tell that okay this person user one can use these things so user two cannot uh, use or read or edit or some uh, some objects okay so i can set it okay understand the difference first entitlement is whenever you purchase a license microsoft itself will define that these are all the access you can use it based on the license type and whenever uh, we got the license so there will be an administrator where we can give permission to the other users what they can use and how they can use okay so we will understand more about licensing in an another uh, video so first let us understand what is permission and in permission we have permission set okay combines the object permission in logic group which can then be assigned to the user explicitly or through a user group that is a set of users where we can assign to them okay so a permission set scope which means a business central solution contains a number of predefined permission sets that are added by microsoft by our service pro uh, service providers like uh, our service provider so permission set includes with microsoft and app sources apps defined as al objects are the type system so we can create the permission set okay so uh, how we can we are now we are not going to talk about anything about entitlement we are just going to talk about the permissions and permission sets that's it so let us understand more about the permission set like how we can assign the permission and what are all the access which we can give to the uh, uh, users okay so in order to give the permission if you wanted to give the permission to the user you should be the admin okay and you should be assigned with the super user role and um, you can write the uh, write the code for this permission in order to provide the permissions okay so for example i have created this al.al so if you just type t permission so you have an option called t permission set if you click this it will open a uh, id for you okay so this is what how you can create the permission set for example 50100 and you can set 
the permission for example if i want to set for the salesperson okay salesperson so this is as usual like how what is the name you wanted to give to the permission set and what is the id you have to assign so here you can see that uh, okay so this is like we are assigning uh, we are creating a salesperson we are creating a permission for the salesperson okay and here you have by default you have an assignable property okay this assignable property is set to true which allows the permission set to be assigned to the user like we are just trying to assign a permission to the user okay and uh, uh, the permission these are the permissions okay so the permission property we can assign either with uh, with the various options okay so we can use uh, various option i'll tell you what are the options which we can use so just let us just proceed with that so just make it assignable property to true and then you can also include the caption sales person so i'm just adding sales person here okay and now you can see uh, we don't want this included permission set and all and we need the permission so these are all the things which we do we have to give so here what we are going to do is we have to tell what is the object type for which object type you are going to give the permission okay so uh, if you just press uh, space you can tell for which object you are going to give the permission and if you go to the table so for the table data okay for the table data you are going to give the permission and what is the name of the object okay so the name of the object is customer the table data and the name of the object is customer and what are the permissions that you are going to give so what are the permission actually these we call it as a permission property so we have various properties for this okay if you use capital r or small r which means that read okay which means that i am giving a read permission to the user okay and if you use capital i or a small i which means that you are giving an insert permission to the user okay if you use a, a capital m or a small m you mean that you are giving a modification modifying permission to the user if you use capital d or a small d which means that delete permission okay you are assigning your specifies a direct indirect delete permission direct or indirect delete permission to the user direct uh, modification or indirect modification direct read or indirect read yes x or x okay which means that you are uh, specifying the direct which means that if you are specifying capital r which means direct okay direct read if you are using a small r which means that indirect read likewise if you use a capital i which means direct uh, insert in a small i which means indirect and in insert okay if you use a capital uh, m which means direct modification small m indirect modification okay so these are the things which you are giving you can give the permission to the user on these permission properties okay these are the permission set properties so you can tell like r i m d which means that you are telling direct read direct insert direct modification and direct deletion so like that you can give various uh, various properties to that like table data what are the table for various table uh, uh, for the various table you can give the permission like if you go with the currency um okay so here you have to go with a comma okay so how many uh, tables you are going to assign you have to give the comma and then you can type like a uh, page action or pay, page metadata so whatever it is like you can just give rmd so this is how you can just go ahead with and finally you have to end with the semicolon so here i am assigning rmd where in the for the customer data i have given complete access like read uh, insert modify and delete whereas in the metadata page metadata i am just giving rmd which means read modify and delete and i am not giving any other permission like insert so this is how uh, we can assign the property and you can tell that what for which object you are trying to give the access to that okay <clears throat> so uh, like this you can add uh, multiple things fine and the important thing is like the name of the permission object is limited to 20 characters when the assignable property is set to true okay and otherwise it's limited to 30 characters exceeding the limit will throw a diagnostic compile error which is al0305 error 
and uh, here you can also add uh, initially it shows like included included permission set okay you can specify that the permission set is also included uh, in the my permission set okay so that is it is mean by it means that you can also add the include add permission set property so what is this included permission set uh, the sets the list of other permission set that are included in the permission set okay so uh, if you just go with included permission set uh, here so it also includes the permission uh, permission set and you can also have the another property called excluded permission set okay so there's excluded permission set and included permission set which means it sets the list of other permission sets that are excluded in this permission set okay included in this permission set and excluded in this permission set so this is how you can add various properties to it so once you uh, define this you know like um you can create the permission set here okay and uh, in order to have like give more as you know like customer or the base data okay so you cannot delete it prob probably and you need a special permission in order to do that and um, you can try with the other data which you have created that is the data which you have created so don't try this customer or page metadata which is already there as a base object I hope you find this video useful. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye.